having a problem holding the camera and doing this, but let me break this down for you. Every time that the credit card is swiped, every time it's used online uh, to make a purchase, debit card included, every time an EBT card is swiped, the merchant is charged with transaction fee, and it looks something like this. And these are just sample numbers, all right? 2.5% of the total sale. plus 30 cents per transaction, okay? So, let's take the example of a pizza shop, for example. Let's say that pizza shop does $5,000 a day, okay? Let's say you do 5,000 a day, all right? In credit card sales. So people came in, they used their credit card, that amount to $5,000 of credit card processing, all right? Let's say 30 days in a month. So let's say it comes out to $150,000 a month that that pizza location did, all right? Now, remember this transaction up here. Let's focus on the 2.5%, all right? So 2.5%, all right, of $150,000 is $3,750. That you would make or I would make, okay, um, on this particular deal. Now, if you simply referred me to this pizza place and I signed them on, simply referred it, didn't have to sell it, right? You would earn 33.3% of this residually each and every month, period, okay? That amount actually comes out to 33.3% of 3750 dollars is roughly twelve hundred and fifty dollars. That is the check that you would get per month for referring just simply referring me to do credit card processing for this one pizza place. There's money to be made, ladies and gentlemen. There's money to be made. Join me for my webinar coming up on April 5th. That's next Monday. And I will show you the not-so-boring world of digital payment processing. Thank you.